I'm Max Eddy with PCMag.com and this is What's New Now. Social network Ello was thrust into the spotlight as users flocked to it in response to Facebook's restrictive real name policy. According to the Washington Post, the exodus was kicked off when Facebook deactivated the profiles of drag artists which were created with those individuals' chosen names rather than their legal or given names. Members of the LGBTQ communities have taken notice of Ello, as have others frustrated with Facebook and its policies. Ello has styled itself as a revolutionary reaction against Facebook. The company insists that ads and data collection will never be a part of their business model. The company's manifesto reads, We believe a social network can be a tool for empowerment, not a tool to deceive, coerce, and manipulate, but a place to connect, create, and celebrate life. You are not a product. Ello says that the company will begin rolling out optional premium features that users can purchase. That lofty talk is refreshing, but we've seen anti-Facebook social networks come and go. Diaspora, for example, raised lots of money to create a privacy-centric social network, but failed to deliver something that grabbed people's attention. And Ello might not be the safe space that new LGBTQ users are seeking. One former Ello user complained about the service's lack of privacy controls, ability to report abuse, and problematic definitions of acceptable content. Ello says it's moving fast to rectify these issues, but it's easy to talk a big game about freedom, art, and privacy when you have a small user base. One of the benefits of having ad revenue is hiring the people and equipment needed to quickly fix and improve an online service. Perhaps Ello isn't perfect, but it's just one of many. In the wake of Facebook and Twitter, we're seeing many smaller, highly targeted social networks reaching out to specific communities. These don't have to be big to be valuable to their users. Maybe we're headed towards a future where the big players like Facebook and Twitter are just one of the networks we use to define ourselves online. As for Facebook, pretending that the company's name policies are gospel law is laughable. Real names sometimes help reinforce good behavior for users, but it's not an end-all be-all, and Facebook has the money and resources to find a better solution that respects all its members, lest it lose them. For more on social networks, check out PCMag.com. That's what's new now, and I'm still Max Eddy.